no, we're going to give this a try and see what's going on because as of right now, this is going to be an interesting start to the week, trying to get all this taken care of and give this a try. So for right now, I do not know uh, how this is going to wind up, but we shall see. And it looks like uh, we might actually be working here. Kind of hard to say. Give us a second. If you're just joining us, uh, welcome to the show. We see again uh, the possibility of some very hot weather coming up in the next few days. Uh, explanation here real quick. I'm trying to get uh, this l loaded up into around uh, what's happening at this time. Uh, what we have is, uh, there we go. Okay, cool. We are up and going at this time. All right. I uh, want to make certain everybody is on board with this for right now. If you're just joining us, uh, thanks a lot for stopping by for a little bit. Uh, I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onick from Chattanooga, Tennessee, from the downtown area on Weather Overtime. This is our online video weather blog. We're trying something which might break our streaming here at the station. I'm not entirely too sure, but we'll see if that is actually the case here. This is our what we call video weather blog to where we do our best to update this area, North Georgia, Southeast Tennessee, Northeastern Alabama, in regards to what's going on uh, with the weather. So if you are uh, in and around that area, welcome to the show. If you're nowhere around the area, welcome to the show. We are also for tonight giving this a try to try to see if this is going to work. We are netcasting, we're doing a simulcast of sorts here on Twitch TV. I've not done this before. I'm hoping that it works, but again, uh, if you are on Twitch TV and are searching around and are finding this channel, first of all, welcome to the program. Uh, we do our best just to, again, bring you uh, weather information. We just talk about weather. I don't have any fancy musical instruments or anything in the way of sound effects going on. Uh, for those of you who are looking for a more exciting uh, netcast, you may want to go to someplace else because you're sure not going to find that here. Not selling myself short, just trying to make certain that uh, we are uh, clear about what's going on here. I am doing this to bring out information to the community, mostly around this area. But again, if you have questions about what's going on with weather, we'll do our best to uh, update you on what is going on and what to, we look for on there. So for right now, uh, if you're just joining us on either Facebook, which is where we usually netcast on, or if uh, you are just joining us on Twitch TV, uh, welcome to the show. Thanks again for dropping by. And again, if you have any questions, uh, website available, wdef.com slash weather. And I'm on a decent amount of social media channels out there, including whatever Twitter is calling itself this week. Not trying to be facetious, but again, it's a very unique situation there. Uh, again, we'll take a look at what's going on with the weather in and around this area, and we'll take a look and see more about what is going on uh, in areas a little farther away from us. We'll take a look at the tropics, and we'll also take a look at uh, what's happening with this heat dome that's sitting over the area. We're waiting to see if the National Weather Service in uh, either Nashville, uh, around the area of uh, Morristown, Tennessee, Atlanta, or Huntsville. We are covered over by four different National Weather Service areas in this location. And it's a good possibility that one of those is going to issue a heat advisory in the semi-near future. We'll see what happens uh, again with that. But we'll try to take a look at a whole bunch of stuff coming up here uh, in just a little while. Again, if those of you tuning in, welcome for the, my usual viewers on Facebook. And if you're just brand new uh, tuning in on this, this is the first time I've done this on Twitch TV. Don't play video game. Well, I'm more of a uh, Pitfall Space Invaders Pac-Man type person. 8-bit uh, for life on stuff like that, but uh, don't play video games here and just usually just talk about the weather for as long as we can stay on topic for everything. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look around to see what's going on uh, around the area of News 12. From Island Cove, things are relatively clear at this time. We're not seeing, again, a lot of major problems. Uh, with anything involving uh, visibility out across much of the area and so far looking pretty good overall for much of the location here. We'll take a look at radar in just a little bit. Downtown Chattanooga lit up quite nicely for the uh, current ongoing game between the uh, hometown lookouts and the visiting Montgomery Biscuits. So hopefully a good night was had by all 
uh, at the ballpark there. A little hazy downtown, but otherwise not bad. Uh, better than it was a couple of weeks ago with all that wildfire smoke, so looking pretty good there. Looks like the game is uh, heading into the last inning, and so far the Biscuits lead the lookout 8-4 uh, to four in the top of the ninth, so hopefully the lookouts can uh, come from behind on that. A little bit of sports thrown in there with you uh, for tonight, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Looking toward Lee Point on the EPB Fiber Optics Weather Cam Network, uh, Highway 153 and the 64 overpass looking off to the southwest. Again, a little hazy there, not doing too bad. Again, uh, for visibility purposes for right now. Looking around the area of the News 12 studios, the north flank of Lookout Mountain, so we can see a little bit more about what's uh, going on there. Uh, not too bad looking off into the distance. We do see, again, a lot more in the way of cloud cover out there. Apologies for the reflection on the screen. We're trying to get that fixed with the engineering staff. We haven't had a chance to get that uh, really taken care of in the last uh, couple of weeks. So a uh, little bit of a glare there. I apologize for that. Uh, for the area around 7524, South Central Chattanooga into the area close to, uh, again, the airport, 75 north and south, and then 24 west and 75 north here, looking off to the north, and you can almost see the lights up on top of Signal Mountain off in the distance. And let's see, is that, that's all the cam okay, that's all the cameras we got for tonight. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look and see about uh, current conditions out there. What we are seeing for right now is very mild numbers. We're back in the lower 80s at this time. So we do have some uh, pretty mild conditions out across much of the area. And we'll continue that again through the rest of the evening. Low temperatures tonight are not going to be that low. So doubtful for a Wednesday evening when we're talking. Time is just past 10.20 p.m. Eastern time if you're just joining us. Uh, again, for right now, most of what we're seeing is going to be the quiet conditions overnight. Could be the possibility of some scattered showers out there. We did have some showers earlier on Titan radar looking off to the east of Chattanooga and back over into around North Carolina, South Carolina, and northern parts of Georgia, northeast Alabama over this direction. And what we had in the way of rainfall from earlier is basically gone at this time. There's really not much left of that. Now back to the north of us, we are seeing a little bit more activity taking place. It's not much, but we are seeing some scattered showers and the good bet for right now is that we will see when this moves over our area most of this is going to be cloud cover so much of what we have right now is just very much on the dry side and it looks like we're not going to be picking up anything if you're heading north to i-40 nashville crossville cookville knoxville you may wind up with a sprinkle or two on the windshield but beyond that there's really not that much happening and again directly in the news 12 area counties uh, in and around Chattanooga there's really not much of anything outside of just uh, the cloud cover taking place for right now so decently quiet uh, for now and hopefully it'll stay that way next best chance of any thunderstorms way off in the distance. We'll talk about that in the forecast in just a little bit. Temperatures today well above normal. The Almanac page for Chattanooga back about three degrees above normal there, a degree or so above the normal low temperature for the day. Nothing in the rain gauge. We're behind by almost seven-tenths of an inch for the month and almost two inches behind for the year. So we could use some more rainfall to help build that back up again next best chance of rainfall really isn't all that great coming in anytime soon so uh, doubtful we're going to be seeing too much of anything in the way of a huge amount of rainfall uh, for the time being now into later on that again could be a bit of an issue out there for the next uh, couple of days it's all going to be heat and humidity out there for the next couple of days there uh, jeff peterson uh welcome to the show, information is better than entertainment. Well, can't argue with that, especially these days uh, as of right now. So giving you the details on this, uh, hopefully better than any uh, tap dancing or video game playing I could do. I suppose I could get some uh, Pac-Man in here somehow and put it up on the screen behind me, but I really don't find that fascinating watching me play video games, which is, uh, according to my son, last time I tried to help him out with Borderlands 2, 
He said I was better suited to something more my speed, like whack a whack a whack of fruit. So probably won't be doing that uh, anytime soon. Looking again at some warmer conditions over the next couple of days, we are not seeing anything in the way of record heat. Temperatures again, we have to go about another 10 degrees up to hit the record high. Last set almost uh, 20, 30 years ago. So we're just not getting into those mega hot temperatures. Hot, yes. Not seeing anything in the way of major league amounts of heat uh, coming on through for the next couple of days. So, again, hopefully we see some quiet conditions out there. Uh, going out on the golf course or just about any place else in the next couple of days, you do need to be careful uh, for the potential of seeing, again, more in the way of heat and humidity than anything else. So you can lose the cardigan and no chance of thunderstorms out there. But if you want to go out for a round of golf or anything else involving the outdoors, earlier or later would be your best bet. Again, that's why two-a-days are held during the cooler parts of the day during the hot summer months. And the winds, again, not doing anything to cool anybody off. Air temperatures could be up around the mid-90s into tomorrow, maybe some upper 90s as well. And then we get into the heat, and you combine the air temperature with the humidity, and you get the heat index. And that is where we start seeing the problems. It hasn't been issued yet, but with numbers approaching this level, I'll bet that some of the National Weather Service offices are going to be probably issuing a heat advisory at some point in time out there so whatever you're doing catching a fish chasing the ball around the golf course whatever you've got going on uh, we're looking at some very steamy numbers out there so an average day for fishing according to the website that we use but otherwise not seeing again a huge amount of problems for being outdoors but please exercise caution with the heat and humidity going on across the area all right let's get into the maps and show you that we've got high pressure in control of the southeastern united states doing a very good job of impeding the progress of just about anything else up to our north now down to our south we do have a bit of a disturbance taking place here this was under scrutiny by the national hurricane center about a day or so ago now it is disorganized and it's not expected to do anything as it makes its way toward the coast but if you're heading toward florida or georgia or south carolina for uh, some vacation time this is where you may run in to some problems there in the next day or two with more showers and thunderstorms now back to the north this is where the forecast gets kind of interesting the forecast models that we use do a pretty good job pretty good not perfect do an adequate job i should say i guess of moving things along and give us an idea as to what's going on in this case with this area of high pressure sitting around the southeast united states it's not moving that much and i really don't see anything indicating that this is going to move too far now a couple of the computer models are taking the fronts back to the north of us this parking lot of fronts across much of the united states should be moving in the next day or two so a good push of energy coming down from canada should give us the potential of maybe some activity in the way of this front making its way down our direction and triggering off some showers and thunderstorms again there's no guarantee of that and from what I'm seeing for right now, I really just don't see anything that says that this front is going to have enough oomph, an actual meteorological term, by the way, dropping its way all the way down from the Canadian uh, border all the way down to us. Possible, yes, I hope I'm wrong, but for right now, it just does not seem in that distance toward about Sunday that we're going to get all that much out of anything that comes all the way down this direction. Now, possible, yes, likely. I really don't see it for now so we will be watching that and we will keep the thunderstorms in the forecast as we go into uh, the seven day coming up here we'll give you that in just a little bit but for right now again not huge amounts of great news coming on through let's run the numbers for you again into overnight what we're looking for is going to be uh, temperatures back into the mid 70s now when you hit numbers that low that only go into the mid 70s that's as far down as you go that means when the sun comes up you start from there and you just go upwards through the rest of the day so we are seeing a very warm minimum number tomorrow which means that by tomorrow afternoon i think we will easily be back it looks like uh, some of the models are saying we could easily be topping the high 90s uh, coming close to the century mark in portions of 
Middle Tennessee. So that, again, is going to be a very hot time around the area. Going toward Friday morning, again, low temperatures, not that low, only back into around uh, the mid-70s. Going further than that, temperatures around 100 in Nashville. Uh, the computer model is really starting to throw in the potential of some more thunderstorms toward about Friday afternoon, but we just honestly don't see a great deal of anything really going on. So for right now, it looks like a lot of what is happening is going to be uh, more potential of showers and thunderstorms out there, probably down to our east and south where the moisture is a lot more heavily interred there. But from what we can see, again, some scattered stuff. Notice how there's not a lot north of the area, and doubtful we're going to be seeing too much here, but maybe some of that will wander our direction and do a good job of kind of dropping the temperatures by blocking some of the sunshine, if nothing else. Now through Saturday, let's see if I can stretch this model out a little further. Uh, looks like about early afternoon as far as we can go, and more chances of showers and thunderstorms possible across much of the area uh, as we go into the weekend. For those of you who are just joining us, uh, thanks for stopping by. Time is almost 10.30 Eastern. And we uh, are welcoming everybody tonight on usual and our Facebook page, but we're also on camera number two over here. Uh, we are welcoming everybody on Twitch. Uh, trying this for the first time, I can't remember who it said it several uh, months or years ago where I saw it that your first podcast, your first webcast, your first book, your first painting is going to be terrible. Go ahead and do it anyway. So that's what we're doing is kind of launching ourselves into this so that we can branch out News 12 a little bit more and appear on Twitch TV as well as being on Facebook. Probably taking the bandwidth of the station down by several kilobars there. So uh, apologies to the chief engineering staff. So uh, draining a lot of internet energy at this time. Let's go ahead and show you the seven day forecast and give you an idea as to what we're looking for uh, in the semi near future. Again, we've got the potential for more showers and thunderstorms toward the weekend. That is where we saw again the potential for some thunderstorms. Not a lot, but some. And that, again, is what we're talking about here for both around the area of Sunday and again into Monday. So that's about as good as it gets when it comes to anything involving uh, precipitation and cloud cover that will helpfully, again, block out some of the sunshine. But other than that, temperatures remain very steamy through the weekend with that front if it gets this far south again confidence is not high we may knock the numbers down a little bit but it is still going to be very steamy out there for the next several days and again most of the area around chattanooga and parts of the tennessee river, river valley are not going to be anywhere close to cool anytime soon let's see if i managed to delete it and it looks like i did not so the six to ten day climate outlook is showing that potential for again uh, that heat dome kind of shifting over the mouth of the Mississippi down toward the Delta area. And that is where the worst of the worst temperatures are going to be within the course of the next six to 10 days. There really doesn't seem to be much of a change taking place anytime soon. So it looks like most of this will be sticking around for a while. The southeastern quarter of the United States will continue to be very much on the steamy side. And I just, again, really don't see much changing here. So for the rest of July, going out into August by next week, that is where we see, again, the potential for very hot conditions and really not that much changing out there as we go into uh, the next couple of days out across much of the area. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, again, hopefully we get a big pattern change coming through. It'd be nice to be below normal at this time of the year. That really just doesn't happen all that much. All right, that's what it looks like for here. In the Tennessee River Valley, again, we cover for our viewers on Twitch, we cover North Georgia, back into southeastern Tennessee, northeastern Alabama, and a small part of western North Carolina. Uh, this is the Tennessee River Valley, as we call it, uh, in and around this area of Chattanooga. And we are recording on uh, Thursday, July 20, or Wednesday, July 26, heading into Thursday. So again, a good opportunity to see what's going on in this area. Uh, welcome to all of our Twitch viewers for tonight. Glad to have you along. For the next few days, uh, we did have a lot more going on in the tropics. And about 24 hours ago, we had a uh, new area of three different systems taking place. We now have just one, and this one fresh off the coast of Africa. This uh, is new information, 
and it looks like we have not uh, updated uh, the details at this point because we have uh, the updated instead of yellow it's gone to orange here and that means there is now a 40 percent development chance of this system coming on through the Atlantic and this is a little worrisome for this thing to be getting a little bit more organized this quickly it still does not have a designation it does not have an invest number or anything like that but again this is something to watch if you plan any travel to the Gulf the Caribbean uh, Florida the East Coast anytime soon better watch this because this is going to be our next potential of being the e-storm uh, my co-anchor Emily Casulo if you're out there it might be your opportunity for your storm uh, to be coming along pretty soon that system is over very warm waters of the Atlantic and will be again making its way back to the west over very warm waters north of South America and if you haven't heard the headlines lately some extremely disturbing news going on about the waters in the areas of the western Atlantic the Caribbean the Gulf and down toward the Bay of Campeche and the Straits of Cuba the waters around Key West managed to make their way over 100 degrees not the air temperatures the water temperatures and that is unheard of at this time of the year it needs to be confirmed but if it is true that could be the warmest water on record in the Atlantic ever recorded and that is very worrisome both for the idea of climate change as the ocean continues to absorb in as much heat as it possibly can but it also is worrisome because that storm system if it curves over this area and taps into this this is rocket fuel for those types of storms that form over the Atlantic and parts of the Caribbean nothing in that area close to forming right now that system that we just showed you out in the eastern Atlantic that could be heading our direction and if it intersects with this that's why you need to be paying attention to this because if you're heading to anywhere from the Keys to Brownsville to New Orleans to the East Coast you need to watch what's going on in the tropics it's just that simple it's not trying to scare you uh, we don't do hype I've never done hype TV stations before have tried to accuse me of that there is nothing involving hype involving what you're seeing here this is paying attention for good safety sake this is something to make certain that you stay safe because you don't want to be going on vacation in some place where a storm is heading towards and getting worse to just make you turn back around and head back out of the area it, that's just safety and common sense that's not hype and I dare anybody else to challenge me on that being hype this right here again is just making certain that we are able to tell you a little bit more about what's going on so you can organize and keep an eye on what is happening out there for your own safety sake so please consider that uh, in the course of the next several days and weeks that's about it for tonight before we sign off we're going to give you a quick view of some uh, nicer conditions so to speak round about the fourth rock from the sun uh, one of my favorite topics of all time has been exometeorology weather on other planets weather off planet from earth and from the perseverance rover from a couple of days ago have not updated this today but the weather information from the rovers comes in every once in a while but the good news is at least we can tell a little bit more about what the conditions are from Jezero crater around Mars northern hemisphere the high temperature on July 22nd was four degrees below zero and that's pretty mild for Mars actually a high temperature in the lower teens positive teens would be a summer blazing heat wave on Mars low temperature was 100 degrees cooler than that just a couple of days ago and a look from the Curiosity rover on the same planet but a little bit farther away from Gale crater near the equator where the season is currently uh, early winter the high temperature a few days ago was minus 18 and the low temperature was 112 degrees below zero why are we telling you about this well partly again it's hot out there so maybe something like this will help you cool off by just a little bit secondly because it's really doggone cool when you think about it that we can get weather from another planet that's really neat to be able to see that and this is something that I loved when I was a kid I was always hoping to get a weather report uh, when Viking landed on Mars back in July of 76 and the Viking 2 not too long after that so it's really neat to be able to see stuff like this and to pass it along this is good science communication to be able to show a little bit more about what's neat and what's cool in science and hopefully maybe cool you off 
by just a little bit across the area. Uh, if you've got weather radios and you don't know anything about programming them, uh, please go to our website, WDEF.com. We've got a video there that can show you more about how to program your National Weather Service radio. These should be in every single school, every single business, every single home, every single place of worship in the United States. And people should know more about how to program them and how to get their radios uh, ready to go by pro putting together, again, which counties you want in the area, like Hamilton County, which is where Chattanooga is, Again, if you don't want to be informed about a weather event going on east of you, maybe the storm comes through and you don't want to hear about anything else, you can program in the counties where you are and where the storms are coming from, and then you won't have to worry about it down the line. So that right there is really cool. The signal that gets picked up by the antenna from the National Weather Service containing all that data has the codes that activate the alert system for this radio with those numbers, you can stay on top of what's going on, but you don't have to be bothered for every single warning that may come down the road from the National Weather Service. So really handy piece of equipment, and if you don't know how to program it, it's a lot easier than you may think. All you have to do is go to our website, wdef.com slash weather, and find out more details uh, about that. For anybody on Twitch, uh, this is more for our local viewers on Facebook, but I want to throw this out there so that everyone's aware of it. We are coming up on the fall semester, and we love to go out and talk weather to various schools. And we would love to be able to come uh, to your school if you're a teacher, an administrator, and we do handle a variety of class levels and topics as well. So if you'd like to have us visit your classroom, go to the Food City Weather in the Classroom website section of WDEF.com slash weather. Fill out the details. Give us an idea as to what exactly you would like us to talk about. Basic weather, science, getting prepared for weather and not scared about weather. Uh, learning more about amateur radio. I'm an amateur radio operator, so I'd love to be able to talk about emergency communications. We can talk about climate change. We can talk about all kinds of stuff like that. So if you'd like to know more about that, again, please fill out the details. And if you're a teacher and you want us to come visit you, that's great. Fill out the information ASAP, because if you don't, we may not be able to come visit your classroom until the spring semester. They, the requests for this fill up very quickly. So please keep that in mind if you are going to be doing anything about science and you would like to come uh, for us to come visit you. We'd love to be able to visit your classroom, but we can't do that. We just don't show up. We need an invitation to do that. So please uh, let us know what you would like to talk about, where, when, how many kids, what grade levels, uh, things like that. And we'd love to be able to help you out on that. Please go to our website again. Uh, for more details there. That'll pretty much wrap it up uh, again for tonight. We don't have a lot going on outside of just the heat and humidity, so things are very quiet for right now, and it looks like they should remain that way, if not hot, excuse me, for the last couple of days. Uh, if you're on Twitch, you can find my information on the uh, email address if there's something you'd like to contact me about, aonek, A-O-N-E-K, at WDEF.com. Or you can visit us again at our website to contact us through there with uh, on, on the information page with all the details about who works here and how you can get in contact with us. We depend on your information about stories and things happening in the community. If we don't get that, we can't tell everybody else about it. So please let us know what you're seeing out there. 90% of the stuff that we show on air comes from you. So if you can give us more information about what's happening in this area of the country, we'd love to know about it and try to help out, cover it if possible, but our psychic powers are rather below par, so you'd really have to let us know. Email, snail mail, give us a phone call, anything like that, and let us know more about what you are seeing out there that would really uh, come in handy for us. That'll wrap it up for tonight. It is Thursday, July 26th. We are live and direct on Facebook and Twitch, uh, trying this new Twitch thing out and trying to see if uh, we have a place for this on there. Uh, for the Twitch users who are tuning in, apologies that this wasn't your usual uh, video game 
competition, excitement level going on, but this is what we do, talking about weather and introducing people to what's happening with the forecast and trying to do that on as many channels as possible and on as many social media channels uh, as well. If you're up for a game of chess, find me on lichess.org or chess.com. The handle uh, is my amateur radio license number, KG4GKE. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. This has been the uh, Wednesday keep saying Thursday. I want this week to be over with sooner. This is the Wednesday edition, July 26th of Weather Overtime from downtown Chattanooga at WDEF News 12. Uh, thanks for joining us for tonight, and we'll have more details on the forecast coming up tonight on News 12 at 11. And Chip Chapman has your forecast bright and early on Thursday morning, got that right, at about 5 a.m. Eastern, so stay tuned for more there. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for more with News 12 on air and online.